So Bill, what's driving you to drink this week? Well, Courtney just told me that it's International Beer Day, so cheers to that. Um, my favorite international beer is Guinness. My wife and I honeymoon in Ireland, and it was fabulous. The Guinness over there is really special. We also got to give a shout out today on International Beer Day to Matthew, Heidi, and Jeff out there. Thank you very much for your donations to Beer with Bill um, this week. Two things that aren't so um, happy are closer to home than international. The city of Chicago had two uh, financial events this week. One, the, the city released its annual financial analysis. And the second thing I'm going to talk about briefly is these new ideas for financing the pension plans here in Chicago, which are woefully underfunded. First, the um, the annual financial analysis, that's a, a document that comes out of the city that supports the city's budget process. It's a projection of expenditures and revenues. And the uh, city and its leaders have stressed that what this document has been showing is a diminishing budget gap. Uh, an example, the, um, the revenues are still falling short of expenses, but at a slower and slower amount over time. Unfortunately, we have to stress that these, these are projections, not actual results. And the actual results have been woefully worse than the projected amounts in recent years. The, the real deficits, the accrual expenses, have massively exceeded revenues in Chicago to a much greater extent than this document indicates. Uh, more fundamentally, the, uh, the, the, the diminishing budget gap stressed by the city is something that's the result of these projections again. And the city in recent years has added a new disclaimer to the front page of the annual financial analysis bottom line saying that these are just uh, these are projections and you should be careful because no one has ever audited or certified this information uh, there are words and there are deeds uh, and budgets are words and the, do they really walk the talk and in recent years the city of Chicago hasn't done it um, and more recently and a few days ago the city is now floating plans to uh, better fund its woefully underfunded pension plans by selling bonds in other words they would sell bonds to investors and get the money and put it into the pension plan. And poof, the uh, funded ratio for the plan increases. Uh, whether or not it increases enough is one thing, but more fundamentally, this is not a quick fix for the city, especially for citizens and taxpayers. Um, what the city is proposing to do is potentially structure these bonds in ways that gives first dibs to the people that are um, putting the money into the bonds to spe specif uh, specific for forms of revenue and pledge specific forms of revenue to, to meet those bonds which makes those bonds safer and they get a lower interest rate, but what that does is effectively foist more risk on the other people that have claims on the city, including citizens and taxpayers. Uh, more fundamentally, it also raises the leverage for the city and raises the investment risk that we are still exposed to here in Chicago. Whether or not those pension funds uh, make good on their promises depends on the investment performance, and this would lever up on the risk that if investment if, if investment returns fall, citizens and taxpayers are going to end up taking a bigger chunk of the hit under current law. Um, so have a nice weekend. Cheers.